And hello everyone and welcome to another late night stream. Hopefully you can hear me alright. Um, I am trying to be a bit quieter because I got told that I they could hear me through the wall and uh, that's not fair on everyone else. So hopefully we'll be able to get this going. Can I play the number game too? Yes you can indeed Blue Jacket. I was just counting down in to do, to do it. I thought it'd be fun. <laughs> 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come on, just want to see if the sound's coming through all right. Always a sound check at the beginning. Hello, Em. Can you hear me all right? Because on my computer, currently, my laptop currently is not changed at all. Just reloading it. Hopefully, that will be all right. Mainly, I want it up so I can see the chat though, so. Come on. Why are you being annoying? Right, so it's fine at the moment, is it? Right, I'm gonna put the game on and you let me know if you can still hear me. Hear me as well. This is annoying. I wish I'd not let you take your laptop in because right now I can't even see whether anything on my screen currently. So how was the sound when I was uh, on the game? Then I'm on. I'm up full. That's the thing. I am up, uh, literally up full volume. Right. So it might be that I have to turn the game music down. This the thing. Music is really bad. I don't know whether it's like because I'm too far away from the mic or something like that. How's that? Come on, you silly laptop. I want to be able to talk to the people and w who are watching me. Now the laptop's not even out loading the internet. Let's see if my iPod's going to play ball tonight. Right, see you later, Blue Jacket. This is ridiculous. I knew this was going to happen. Stupid blooming laptop not working. And my iPod's been playing up on the fritz for a while now. Jesus Christ. I am talking. It's just kind of black screen for me. Because my iPod for some reason keeps on not wanting to connect to the internet, which is lovely. So I don't know what the hell's going on currently. My laptop decided to restart itself. I am trying to get it so I can see the chat and at least talk to you guys. Sorry about this. I really am regretting that you took your laptop in. It was my own idea because obviously I wanted you to be able to use your laptop obviously. But it seems that it's the only thing that was working let me see the chat because my laptop as I thought it would is being buggy as hell because it's old. And my iPod is just 
not connecting every time it connects to 2G it just doesn't like it hello yeah well at the moment I'm having trouble just getting the chat in and by the way by the way Sorry about that. And was just calling to let me know because obviously she's trying because I can't. See, she thought I couldn't see the chat. I can see it at the moment because I'm on the um, Streamlabs OBS. But I would rather be able to actually see it and play the game. So hopefully I can get my iPod to play ball for a little while while my laptop decides whether or not it's actually going to play ball. For God's sake, I'm not a flying iPod, and you are lying, because my computer is still on, so stop bullshitting me. No, I don't want to change anything, I just want to be able to see if I, see if everything's alright. And... Oh, there we go. Lovely ad. I'm turn the volume down that. Right. Let's turn the music down a little bit more. and we'll just have to hope that is good enough. If not, do let me know in the chat if you can because I don't know whether it's going to be alright at the moment. If anyone is in the chat currently, please talk as it may give me an idea of what the hell is going on. God damn blue wires, why are you always being a pain in my backside? <laughs> you hay fever. You're attacking me even when I'm not. I've got you. Right, so if anyone's in the chat, please talk. So I mean, at least that's working at the moment. And if you can hear me. So, we did play this on the last stream, didn't get very far obviously, but we did a good chunk of the tutorials getting the story. We are a fate binder that is in service to Tion, who is the who is a, a powerful being. I can't remember the name of the beings, but they're basically powerful beings and they're given a purpose and his purpose is to be the god the sort of being of justice. So he has these people called fate binders who go out and take them uh, do justice in his name these can be f uh, from a number of people from just a lowly peasant to the noblest of hero for me I am a was a lawbreaker so I broke the rules and kind of uh, didn't do as I was told and uh, in now I'm in service to Tion uh, there we are a little rascally character Justin Sider who was named after our, one of my followers uh, 
Oh, our fellow how one of our fellow howlers, uh, insane. Um, he is a bit of a roguish character. He fights too two-handed and does. In my mind, he's very tricksy as well. So he uses um, electrical attacks to try and stun his opponent, then attack them. Um, with him is Verse, who is a member of the Scarlet Chorus, which is one of the two armies that came to this area to try and take over for our master, the Overlord. This is uh, Raven Ash, who's commander of the Disfavored, who is basically a very like army regimental, whereas the Scarlet Chorus are just a bunch of ra random people thrown together and just thrown against the enemy. So she wants to have a talk with me, so I think we'll go outside Graven Ash's tent before we do that. On, so hopefully I'll be able to actually you know, listen to the game as well as listen to my full voice. Found something. Ooh. So, ooh, subterfuge. Game plus one. All right, let's have a little talk with her, shall we? So, how do I talk with you? I just want to talk to her, she wanted to talk to me. So Edict of Execution, which is the Edict that we just read out, which is one of the Overlord's like, powerful spells. Once you read it out, it enacts whatever it's been read out. And this one said that if any, if by Kyros's Day of Swords, which is the name of the Overlord, Kyros, um, e every representative, Basically, anyone who's within this area will die. That includes his own troops as well as the rebels we are trying to defeat. Because they're bloody being annoying. So, hopefully, I'll be able to turn this onto my laptop so I don't have to worry about my iPod just suddenly cutting out on me. Seems to be all right at the bottom. Right, let's see. If not, then hopefully the iPod will be all right for tonight. Anyway, so she wanted to talk. Oh, then go speak with us. How did you do that? Verse looks at you with a quizzical expression. What are you babbling about? Don't be an ass. This is a serious business. Back in the Archon's war tent, you cast an edict as casually as reading a supply shipment. How did you do that? Well, I've done it before. I was nothing. It was nothing, really. I don't wish to discuss it. I've done it before, yeah. Yeah, our guy is very, like, cocksure of himself and is very much just like, eh, I did it, so what? I've always lived on the streets, and that's kind of what I imagine. I don't know why I didn't realise it earlier. You proclaimed the illegal stone in Azura. It blighted the entire realm, all to destroy the rebellious Archon. I can't believe that was you. Conquest, that was me, alright. Well, call me impressed, considering that you've, you've read the words of Kairos more than once. I'm surprised that you're even alive to tell of it. Your vocal cord should have t turned to ash by now. Yeah, well, I'm reading a very powerful spell, aren't I? Let's see if I can get... Up on my laptop, and hopefully that means I'll be able to actually see the chat better. That's an idea, Blue Jacket. I might do that, indeed. But um, we'll probably do it on console. But they kind of don't know when we'll do it. Um, we want it that, but that, I'll, I'll definitely add that to the list of things that we're going to play together. Alright, so, uh, I'm not trying to make you feel uncomfortable, it's just worth recognising that you've done what you've done. Oh, for God's sake, our computer, stop being a douche.
Testing, testing, one, two. Sorry, just seeing if it's coming through. If you can hear me loud and clear, please say so in the chat. Right, so I can now see the chat by my computer. So there we go. Let's just get on with the bloody game. So, not only are you Tion's fate binder, you're the mouthpiece of the Overlord. Give me, gives me plenty of reason to stick around. You. Okay, thank you very much, Blue Jacket. Give me plenty of reason to stick around. You're going places, and I want to see where they lead. That's enough for now. If you say so, I have some questions about you. Yeah, seeing as you're poking into our business all the time for this, why don't we poke back? What do you need? Tell me about yourself. Yeah, if you insist. I'm a Scarlet Fury. That should raise some flags for you. It means that I'm good at killing, and more importantly, that I enjoy it. Fair enough. So you're a murderous serial killer, then? What I won't enjoy are the pleasures of funerary rites packed with weeping mourners. Someday I'll fall in battle, and then they'll roll me into a mass grave or heat me atop a shit-stained wagon. One more anonymous, knife-riddled piece of meat. Mm, that sounds lovely. Until then, I plan to take whatever I can from life and have a little fun along the way. Tell me about your life before the choruses. Life? What life? As far as I'm concerned, I didn't exist before the chorus. There was some girl in a farm wearing my face and talking with my voice. I seem very quiet. <laughs> this is the thing, I seem very quiet compared to the game. Yeah, mic is on. I just want to make sure that it is actually on the... Yeah, it is on that one. Why is it coming through so damn quietly on the laptop? No, okay, sod it. Laptop, you're not helping at all, so... Shush. I would thank you for behaving tonight. Sound is definitely fine. Now I can stop being an idiot and panicking a lot. Right. There was some girl on a farm wearing my face and talking with my voice, but she wasn't me. Sometimes she would sneak out at night to take up a scythe and have some fun with the livestock. Our shared interests began and ended there. Ooh, so she just carved up the blooming livestock. Jesus Christ for us. When the Scarlet Chorus swept through my village and uh, on their long trek from the bastard city, that was when I finally woke up. I buried my old life, took red vengeance on anyone who'd wronged me, and found the freedom I could only dream was out there. What of your parents? My mother ran a successful farm, and I worked for a number of years before I found the Chorus. She was a hard, bitter woman. I acted like the whole world owed her something. She never talked about my father, though I figured out a thing or two about him later on. He was a merchant from the Northern Empire who took a liking to her, and she him. He stayed around only long enough to get her what he want, get what he wanted. But never mind him. My mother had never what you could, would call taste, so he couldn't have been terribly influential to me. To, uh, influential to me, if he did stick around. Did you ever wish to, you could uh, do things over and end up somewhere else other than Kyrus's army? That's a naive, uh, as naive a question as I've ever heard. Kairos is everywhere. If you aren't in the Overlord's army, you'll be trampled by it. Alright, see you later, Blue Jacket. Thank you very much for tuning in. 
course, I could have laboured on, on the family farm into my maturing years, married some dolt and littered him a nursery of squealing piglets, having my body torn to pieces by smaller birds of me it sounds like fun. Then one day, when I decided enough was enough, I'd slit my husband's throat over breakfast and run off to join the chorus anyway. My, my way saved a lot of time. Verse moves back the feathers in her hair and shakes her head with a smile. You're a killer. Better to stick with the chorus. I think you could have given, given that life a chance. No offence. I think she's happy where she is. Oh, getting some loyalty from my nice. At least you understand. The chorus is praises and rewards the thing inside me that, that I would suppress in civilised company. Life is too short to repress every desire, especially if I have ev anything I... If anything to say about it, fuck's sake, read it properly then. How did you get conscripted? We can't have guessed that. What is the significance of the feathers? Verse loyalty 2. We are getting awfully chummy, so I guess you deserve a story. Ooh, so because I got up to level 2, it's good. My mother kept the messenger bird. there but that's fine sorry just being silly and worrying too much right I'll stop now my mother came with a messenger bird with Widdipeck he was an angry old bastard spoiled from living in the high life living the high life squawking in my window every single night pecking my fingers while I fed him only the fattest juiciest mice when I left the farm to join the Scarlet Cross I wrung that ungrateful little fucker like a dish rag plucked his feathers and gave his carcass to the mice it felt like justice. She slides a crimson feather from her hair and spins it on in her fingers. Jesus Christ, this woman's just a nut job. She's like someone from Mad Max's universe. I also like how the feathers catch the breeze. Helps me keep my balance, especially when I'm moving fast. She slips the feather among the others and smooths it back. Um, enough questions about your past. So tell me about the time of the Scarlet Chorus. You learn a thing or two about fighting in the Scarlet Cross, Keth Duel. I want to ask her if travels... What about your time? The Scarlet Chorus is mostly for madmen and peasants with rusty daggers, but it's also a little niche of freedom that I never had. Once I survived training and met my Scarlet Fury sisters, I saw a different side of the howling mob. So tell me about your training. Who are the Scarlet Cross leaders? Who are your sisters? Who were they? Would be more appropriate. Free Whispers, Red Geyser, and Seeking Sheaf. Best fighters I ever met. There wasn't a foe we we couldn't take down together. Our fighting styles complemented perfectly, so we divided up the killing work like bards sharing a song. At least we used to. She pressed a solemn salute. Oh, so they're dead. What happened to them? We were scouting around Vendrin's well during the siege, back when we only suspected the guard of organising in secret. My sisters and I came upon the group of them. Well, Kairos knows maybe they found us. No one said anything. We drew iron and bronze. That was when everything went wrong. I was supposed to take point and occupy the guard with a dance of blade work. Something disorientating... Something disorientating while my sisters picked their marks. I hesitated. I lost my nerve. It was a rushing the outbreak that froze with my weapon drawn. My sisters fought on without me, but they were off balance, like whatever I had was catching. They died. I lived. My sisters were relying on me to lead the dance, and I failed them. It's understandable, of course, and stayed your hand. Your actions were inexcusable for a fighter of your station. You're absolutely right. If I had witnessed the same in one of my sisters, I might have even killed her for endangering the rest of us. Good thing for me that they didn't get the chance. She chuckles, but there's no humour in it. Oh, shit. So that's not good, right? Hesitation is rot. It's o 
unbecoming of any chorus member and unheard of in a scarlet fury. I would cut it from my body and cauterize the wound if, if only I knew its source. She grimaces once more and turns inward contemplatingly. Any thoughts on the topic? Or were we just uh, here to open old wounds? Very well. Right. Talk more later. Right. Let us have a little look around this camp. So, who are you? Nerf Shaker. So, that's one of the people who the Archon that traders trained. They can move the earth. And are very good at forging iron weaponry. Ooh. Locked 32 subs. That yeah, wasn't so hard. Nice. As I said, I'm a bit of a tricky little chap who kind of, even though he's working as a uh, force for the uh, uh, Archon Tion, I still do illegal things every once in a while. Right, so we are looking for you, aren't we? I'm Marshal Eris, but we also. Right, hang on. So. Echo call crossing must be taken f before Kyrus's forces can press their attack on um, my positive die. Okay, that's fine. No. You want to be stupid? Fine. Uh, the attack on the Vendorin's Royal Citadel. Help the disfavoured subdue the rebels and take control of the crossing. Rebel scum! So speak to the Iron Marshal Enerios. Take the outer valley. The Scarlet Chorus are currently attempting to secure the outer ring of Vendrin as well. <coughs> You'll need to help them deal with the rebel forces in the air before Kyrus' armies may safely march upon the citadel. Speak with the Fifth Eye at, uh, at the Scarlet Chorus camp. When you meet with the Archons, you learn that the Scarlet Chorus is an ongoing operation in Triple Tripnet Tor, which hasn't proven successful. Speak with the Fifth Eye at the Scarlet Chorus camp and see what you can assist with. Okay. Alright, let's try and do that then. Let's talk to the marshal while we're here. Don't you just coddle the impact. Push back with your shield. Take the momentum, Iron Marshal Eros. Field Commander of the Disfavored pounds a fist in the air as she calls out to the warriors on the training field. I set eyes on your opponent's waistline. If I, <coughs> I set eyes on your opponent's waistline. If you spend more than a glance checking his footwork, you've lost. The Disfavored officer turns to you, adjusting the pale golden shirt coat as she clears her throat. Need to stay on top of the troops, or their skills will rust. It's for their own good, even if they don't believe it. I mentioned you're, you're short on warriors and need help. What's the situation? I have brigands amassing a long placid echo call and little tooth crossings. The Vidarian Guard may be able to hold one bridge, but they can't, cannot hold against a concerted three-pronged attack. I have no right to give you orders, but a, vo a words falter. A short cough breaks her flow, but we all die in Kyrus's edict should we fail. I, so I am not about to let my pride blind me to the value of good help. This will be a second major attack on the river, correct? What happened last time? Defeat in detail, we carved a bloody path up to, up to the river, but at that point everyone was charged, was charged ahead of, ahead was lost. We had no chorus backup. It was just a few disfavoured squads. I can't tell you exactly how they were defeated, but we lost the whole assault team. She shakes her head, letting a, out a long, pain sigh. We found bodies washed up in the river for days. It was not off. It's not often the tearsmen put up such a good fight. It certainly made us reevaluate the number we number we'll need to take this valley. Really, are you? Oh, Verse, don't piss her off, for God's sake. Really, are you sure our scouts don't give you all sorts of details about the enemy and you just choose to disregard the warnings? I'm sure this favoured would have heeded any such advice. We can pass out blame after the war. Only oathbreakers matter now. Yes, indeed, quite right. Getting your, our emotions into the mix won't hasten this campaign. What value is there? Take my question. This favoured need my help. Trying to pour salt on my pride, we left Fort Resolution with a hundred on a hundred, and there have been no reinforcements or reserves. I keep throwing warriors back into the battle before they are properly re rested, so yes, I need to rely on our, all our allies. Especially since most of our allies are conscripted tearsmen, worse than useless. If this favour don't have every opportunity to insult the Scarlet Chorus, perhaps you'd find our help more forthcoming. 
Shut your snout, snout, filthy mongrel. I won't suffer childish jibes in my camp. She has a point. The disfavor constantly mock the Scarlet Chorus. You speak out of turn and offend our host. I apologize. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to. No offense. He does have a point. The disfavored have history, pedigree, proper training, all the things these southern conscripts lack. We didn't train for decades to. We didn't train for decades to be peers and equals with these traitor t tearsmen. We've lived lives on dedication to Kairos, and the chorus accepts any fickle coward to fearful to die with by their convictions. What you're seeing here is disfavoured bigotry at its finest. I'm somehow at fault because my country wasn't c conquered before I was born. Forget that I chose Kairos, forget that I chose the Scarlet Cross, forget that I chose to fight off rapists and killers to earn my place in the army just for the disfavoured to call me a worthless turncoat and to my face. No one gave me a suit of armour that I could hide behind. No one issued me a sword and a m measure of authority. I took everything I have and I fight every day to keep it fucking northern swine. My frustration was aimed at those in the chorus who accepted accept Kairos lightly. But this favourite commander withdraws at half pace. Like loyalty where some shifting breeze. Alright. I will assist. Then our plan just might work. The Iron Marshal lifts her gauntlet to sh her face, shifting her eyes from you to the metal altercations. We are loath to work with those who do who do not share our training and our values, but we know that Tion, the adjudicator, selects only the most capable minds for his court, and I trust you will honour us all on the field. Atino will be leading the charge at Echo Cross Echo Call Crossing, assisting you will be Barrack of the stone shield. She points to a heavily armoured soldier sentry, standing sentry at the edge of the training field. Before you ask, no, the forge bound weren't sloshed or dabble, dabble seeded when they fitted his armour. He survived the full force of the Edict of Storms, and this armour doesn't exactly come off. Tactically, it's quite brilliant, but otherwise, it's something of a curse. Tapping his helmet twice, an arrow signals to the hulking. Presence, Barrack, come meet their fate binder. The soldier that steps up to you is better resembles an augmentation of rusted blades and mismatched pieces of armour fused into a vague human shape. He reeks of sweat, feces, and whatever oil treatment keeps him flexible. Fate binder, the Iron Marshal has tasked me with keeping you alive, and I have no intention of disappointing her. That should be enough assurance for anyone. This favoured favour, Barrett returns your nod, silent, save for creaking altercations in his alloyed caparison. Barrick, is that you under there? I had no idea you were in Vendrian's well. Fatebinder, do you know this walking anchor? Just a minute, you know to know each other? I don't believe we've had been acquainted. I know him as well as I knew, knew anyone during the conquest. That can change. When the tears are fully under our command, I'll take you to whatever passes for a watering hole in this forsaken country. We'll drink the local swill to honor the fallen. Forget the fallen. I know a great brothel in Lethian's Crossing where we can watch something rise, then fall, then rise again. <laughs> Clefs, you are really perverse, you know that? The Fate Binder will be joining us for the push across the river. I figured an extra hand might help. And more importantly, if my worries come true and the chorus tries to impede the mission, we will have an observer from the court on our side. Better to work with the Honorable Binder than some chorus children. He nods to you, his armor, creak, his armor creaking as he bends to his neck. I ask that Barrack accompany you there to ab abrate the co cooperation between his company and the Scarlet Chorus. Agricor Crossing is now unlocked on the world map. Nice. Barrack. You've been without a cohort since the last battle of Stillwort. It's time we gave you a task more worthy than hauling wagons and leading training girls. She plants her hands on her hips. Didn't it say he earlier? Hips and speaks in clipped official terms. Ash has assigned you to the Fatebinder service. You are to assume that this task is ongoing until we find a more permanent spot for you, which could very well mean the swift approaching end of this war. Or when the fate binder dismisses you, is that understood? Barrett regards the Iron Marshal in an oppressive silence. 
That's an order, Barrack. She shakes her head and sighs, returning her focus to you. He can be, be as stubborn as, a, as pulling a spire out of the earth, but he's a good soldier. I hope you don't mind the company. I'm honoured to have a member of the Iron Legion at my side. I don't mind, but I'll allow it. But I do mind, but I'll allow it anyway, if only to, so I can put a large object between myself and the enemy. I think you'd be tactful with what you're saying here, trying to keep peace between the two groups. So I gain loyalty from Barrack and a bit of favour with Didis Favoured. Excellent. I look forward to your success in the field. So, Barrack. Oh, hang on. So she gains some parry. What have you got, Barrack? So you've got a iron tolling and striking iron. Okay. So is this level up? It is indeed. So you're one point. I think you're going to be more of our tank, so I'm going to put up your health a little bit there. And Punisher and Sentinel, I'm going to put up. So, Art of the Blades requires one talent point to spend on Punisher. Tree, which is one handed and two handed. Me, I think we'll do that. We will. There we go. Alright, let's have a little look at your equipment then. So, he's fighting with. Jesus Christ, you look like a mummy. He's literally the walking version of the flipping uh, Game of Thrones throne, isn't he? So he's got a shield and a sword, so he's our, he is going to be our tank, while me and Verse are going to be our little flankers. Right, so... Anything in there? Yes, there is indeed. So, what have I got in there? I've got a quick-fingered bangle, which gives me haste. I think I'll have that, thank you. A head wrap, which... It gives me some gives some coverage whoever has it. What about this helmet? So Scarlet Fury helmet is what I've got on. So recovery. Bronze axe. No, that's Ooh. Could probably give that to our tank friend later. Right, let's just leave it there for now and put this on me. There we go. I do like my little Kraken tattoo. I'll do it for the north. Come on, people. Right. We've got to get moving. So I'm going to probably go off to where the Scarlet Chorus camp is and see if I can get any help from them and find out what they need help with. So I don't want to be oh, hit the balloon right, Danny. Seen as favouring one side over the other. Right. So where's the Scarlet Chorus camp? There we go. So it's on our way there anyway, so it'll take us an hour and 30 minutes. That's fine. On. You'll feel the wrath of Justin in, just inside her. That's far enough, Fatebinder. A woman's voice booms down from atop a nearby outcropping. Flashes of aquamarine body paint peek out from under her loose fitting traveller's garb, and her outfit is festooned with braids and knots of sailor lines. Flanked upon either side by, by warriors dressed in the Darien Guard regalia, the woman leans on an elaborate bladed staff, pulsing with arcane energy. A swath of blue fabric rests draped over her arm. In accordance with ancient customs north and south, I offer and request a delay of blade. There are matters we must discuss without fear of reprisal. The woman bows deeply, lowering her head in a practiced display of e equity, of etiquette. Sorry, the warriors by her remain in a silent stance. That their nerves clearly on edge. In accordance with Asian customs, north and south, I abide this truce. We, you have me at a disadvantage, guys. Silently, you would detain a fate binder of the Arkham of Justice. Unwise, run while you can. I think I'd be tactful here, and obviously, I would have. I feel like he would still, even though he's this kind of person who would set, shake your hand while stealing stuff from your pocket, he still would see what Tion gave him as a second chance and seize upon it so I think it'd be smart enough to know to abide by this custom of as is our custom we are ready to kill to defend our lands but we kill only in fair battle 
We don't slay our prisoners. We know this isn't Kairos's way, but we must have hope. A few of my kin have gone missing, and though they may have perished, I have to inquire on the off chance they still live. If Captain Tarkas Deimos still lives, we would negotiate for his release. Oh, so that's the guy I killed. He's dead. I could say he's with the chorus, or I could say that he's in the other room if we let him go. Sorry, what name means... That name means nothing to me. Assuming he's our prisoner, what would you offer in exchange? Again, I think he would be smart enough to play... We would offer you five choir men that got lost on patrol. They're healthy. Got all their limbs, too. I would not have us barter with oathbreakers. Certainly not for anything less than disfavored lives. You say there's something worth less than a disfavored life. Call me intrigued. He's dead. Or should I lie? I see. Yeah, I'm gonna lie. Well, no doubt he must be on his way home then. All the same, I won't hold my breath. If I may make one more inquiry. What of Palox Tyrell? Did he survive? Oh, so I can't say he's in the ruins because obviously we said about someone else. Another dead oathbreaker. Whomever you are asking about next, I assure you nothing can be done. I know not of this person. Mm. Another loss to the chorus. Yeah, I'll say so be it. Chorus. She shakes her head with a My scowl. apologies, Fatebinder. I had a terrible feeling this errand was in vain from the start. I had no expectations that our friends could be saved, as I'm sure the time for swapping prisoners is long gone. But at least I know of what became of them. That'll oh, have to be really enough. you really don't. Sorry you did not find what you were seeking. I have some questions for you. I think it, I'm going to try and gain some more information. We shouldn't be socializing with Oathbreakers. I will entertain silence. them as best I can. After all, understanding is the only hope we have. What is it you wish to know? Why you resist? I grew up without my knee bent to Kairos. And if I'm going to bow to someone, let it be another Tearsman. We've ruled ourselves just fine for centuries. So we'll give our lives so that our sons and daughters might rule themselves. Only your daughters are really free in the tears. Why fight against Kairos' equality? Because in this world, it's women that are above men. There's freedom, then there's trusting idiots with power. Give a man a million marauders, he'll lose sleep worrying over his neighbor's thousand. I prefer my realms ruled by the braver sex. For centuries, we've left the lands to the women and the seas to the men. And we did plenty fine until Kairos came around. The younger realms were beset by with constant war. You prefer that to Kairos' order? You make conflict sound like a bad thing. Yes, the Younger Realm saw frequent battles, but it was never this wholesale slaughter like we've seen of late. No Tearsman ever cast an edict on the soil, or forced prisoners to kill each other, or butchered Beastmen tribes. What makes you think you have a chance? But ma a mage like you would be the, be the subject of such superstition and fear under Kairos' reign. I would not be. I doubt life is any better sworn to some mad Archon. I'd rather stand with my fellow Tearsmen. Or, I suppose, stand immediately behind them in the event of an attack. At that remark, the soldiers flanking her exchanged shot looks. Ev turns her focus to her compatriots. Yeah, you heard me. Way things were years back, you'd all be calling me a water witch and conspiring to sell me out to the nearest sage. Just because I'm helping you stop Kairos doesn't mean I've forgotten the hospitality of ages past. Okay. And people wonder why the Tearsmen could never unite in time to fight back. It's refreshing to see that some things never change. <laughs> but her stone provoke him. She nods silently, awaiting the follow-up. How did you and friends over for the garrison? I would joke that the voices of Narat left the gate unlatched. But dozens of warriors lost their lives taking the Citadel. There was no secret to it. We simply attacked with speed and certainty at a time when the Archons were elsewhere in the Tears. The Scarlet Chorus had a rout, and what few disfavored soldiers were present made an impressive showing. But they were surrounded and overwhelmed once the Chorus fled. Oh, so the Chorus literally ran for it. 
What? 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 Prisoner swaps. That is our way, Binder. Here in the South, only thugs and bandits kill prisoners. The younger realms may be guilty of constant fighting, but we never slay each other when the battle's long over. We're not about to change that now. As a rule, Kairos's forces haven't been keen on swapping prisoners. But I know our disfavored prisoners aren't prisoners anymore. I just assumed they were swapped for some of our own. Who's in charge of Listen this to you. Thinking just like the Overlord wants you to think. There always has to be a person in charge or things don't make sense. <laughs> well, we don't answer to anyone. We are each of us sons and daughters of the Tears and take this oh, task boy, upon this ourselves freely. Rebellion. The Captain Tarkas Ari, former Falksman of Queen Vendry and Alanta, is the voice we trust when we seek unanimity. I assumed Tarkas and Ari and Tarkas Demos are relations. Yes. Demos is. was. Ari's brother. We were certain he was dead, but. the Captain takes family seriously, so I volunteered to find some answers. And well, now I here we are. Lies. Fair enough, but now a question for you the edict I can feel its magic coursing through the air Everyone can but those of us enlightened to the currents of magic feel it most The wording of the edict What was it? Uh, I'm going to lie two armies aren't enough Kairos needs an edict to weaken us too. Yep. We must have the overlord terrified well, if that is our fate, so be it. Seems no worse than fire bubbling up from the soil. Thank you for letting me know. I've another question for you, if you will entertain. Are we really standing here and chatting with Oathbreakers? It's hard to watch, like cuddling a goat you're going to kill for dinner. Let's cuddle this goat just a little bit longer first. When I was young, my parents told me oh, the okay, tears no. were special, and the Overlord's edicts and armies could never touch us. Seems I've been told a hefty sum of lies. So answer this honestly for me, please. Is it true that Tunon's fate binders can smell truth from falsehood? Yes, that's true. Falsehood on parchment is an especially rank smell indeed. No, that is not true. I'm done answering questions. Claire Sam. Well, if it were true, you'd happily brag about it. And if it weren't, you'd probably just sit there and bluff. There's my answer. And Kairos's edicts. I have heard the sages speak at length that some of the edicts elsewhere in the world have been broken. How is this? Oh, so she's really trying to work us here. You are mistaken. An edict is forever. It will end if the Overlord wills it, however. A strong enough anti-magical force can end an edict. Not that such things are common. The Overlord has some control over how the edicts linger, but Kairos only knows the exact details. And done. I think by this point I would have just gotten annoyed by her and just... Eat. Nope. Best news I've heard all day. Let's go before you tell them about our guard rotation and the secret of iron. Oh, shut up, Barry. In accordance to our ancient you customs north and south, blanket. let us conclude this truce in peaceful accord. May peace find you soon, Fatebinder. She and her routine, routine, routine turn to leave. Oh, don't worry, we'll see you again soon, I'm sure. Receive a miss. Ooh, from Theon. Just an insider. Word has reached this court that you have issued uh, the Overlord's edict to, to the Archons of, of the Loyal of War and Secrets. Know that we understand f the f fully the weight of this burden and appreciate the loyalty you have shown in its decoration. Excuse me. Provided you survive this span, your service will be duly recognized as you navigate the idiocracies and mutual antipathy of our overlords. War masters, remember that Kairos, Kairos watches all with interest. Those who distinguish themselves, with, whether Fate Binder or Archon, have the opportunity to rise in the overlords' esteem. Even now, the northern courts whisper that the more successful of the two Archons will be granted rule over the whole of the peninsula. Similarly, your fortunes rest upon the decisions you make. Choose wisely. Thank him for the advice. Oh, I can actually reply. Thank him for the advice. Request clarification. Express dissatisfaction. Thank him for the advice. Oh, so we'll get enough response in. Oh, 
Allow me to express my deep appreciation for this opportunity. Few in the Empire have the honour of treating with Archons. A few are still of reading and empowered words of the Overlord. I endeavour always to uh, emulate and it, you, your exemplary foresight and judgement. Remain in all things your faithful servant. Fate by just the Yep. For the missive is transit. Oh, cool. Correspondence course. One day to remain. Oh, cool. Right. That's right. I've done before and I've got a little achievement there. Right. Yeah, they've gone. Good. I was about ready to wet my blades with fake rebel blood. Right. Now can we actually get to the chorus camp? That's how many days left we've got. We have eight days before shit. Oh dear lord, this place is just heaving, isn't it? Right, let's talk to Barrett. You look as if you have something on your mind. By all means. Place his weapon to his side. Barrett salutes you. The joints of his arm are growing in protest. What can I do for you? Uh, tell me about this fact. I'd like to know more about you. I am the line your enemies cannot cross. All other f details are meaningless, but I suspect you have some thirst for detail. I suspect you have some thirst for details, so ask away. Did you seek the trade of war or did it find you? Achoo. Both, I suppose. I knew fighting was in my blood, and this favoured offered me a chance to use my skills in to bring peace. Otherwise, it would have wound up some brigand or an enforcer to a crooked merchant. Barak taps his scabbard, looking away in thought. You think Ash and his legion bring peace? That's cute, but it doesn't hold water for... From where I'm standing, big guy, I've seen them spill as much blood as the cor as any chorus gang. You've clearly been too busy sacking villages and stealing crops to notice you how a proper army conducts war. We sow order, not discord. Thus, as a point of his favour, could con re co reconsider their approach. Barrett was right, the Scarlet Chorus is too chaotic and weak to organize order. Recognize order. You two are worse than Ash and the voices. Stop this at once. You gain loyalty with verse and fear with Barrett. Drawing himself up, Barrett glares at you dis with distaste. Speak ill of the great general is not wise while I am in earshot, Fate Binder. Oh, what are you going to do, Barrett? Uh, strike down one of Tion's Fate Binders? If that be the case, then let us have it out right here. Hey, the boss has a point. Trading jabs is fun, but it's not going to get us anywhere. Verse chuckles and shakes her head. May I continue my story, or do you plan on interrupting again? Barrack waits until Verse makes a rude, dismissive wave before continuing. This favour needed recruits in anticipation of the march south. They offered to care for my mother and brother as long as I stay with the Legion, which is better guaranteed than you will find anywhere else. I was an elite fighter as far as most were concerned. I was still green by this favour standards. Luckily for ev everyone, my skills improved under the Marshal's rigorous training. Tell me about your name. Okay. Barrack is a shortening of my northern surname, which has been passed down through the generations since Graven Ash assembled his army. I go by it because I wear it with pride. The proper form is Barrack and Eon. Beyond it, it's age and ascension with the General's Legion. The name of Barracon has no great titles or as associations. I have no claim to a great house or legacy, save for, this, the, save for the disfavored. They are all the kin I need. What's the story about your armor? It is a symbol of Kairos's will, one that I am not likely to forget. I found this armor. Perhaps it would be better to say that it found me during the Edict of Storms. Okay, what happened? When we heard the Kairos would proclaim the edict, we rushed into the field to battle the force of Stillwood. I was shoulder to shoulder with some of the Legion's most decorated veterans, and my pride blinded me to the danger. Our march was a hasty one. A cohort of disfavoured soldiers vanished in the second year of the war, among them the daughter of the Graven Ash. After a long silence, we, we lear learned that she was held in the fortress of Sentinel Stand. Shit, so Graven Ash lost a daughter to this fight. Oh, I've learned enough back to my previous questions. As we surrounded the citadel, I heard the opening peals of thunder. 
as did the scout I was trying to ki kill. Then the winds hit the like an avalanche. Many of us begged courage for deliverance. What else were we to do? The winds knocked the legs of our offensive out, out from under us. All that the decorated soldiers I brought to the battle were swept up and dashed to pieces, their armour and bodies mixed with the dirt of a tornado that spun in maddening revolt revolutions. Any piece of the citadel wall broke off and nearly crushed my skull. I only remember a few scattered moments from the storm, like a fly flying bits of bronze and iron cutting my flesh, the severed limbs of fallen soldiers tumbling through the air. Eventually I woke, thinking myself trapped under rubble. When I rose and felt like I was buckling under my own weight, that was when I realised I was stuck, right and truly stuck, inside this heap of scrap. What happened to the Ash's daughter after the edict hit? She was trapped behind the walls of Sentinel Stand, imprisoned by Kairos' storm as well as the fortress itself. A thousand soldiers standing shoulder to shoulder could not have endured those winds to rescue her. How did you survive when everyone fell? That is a mystery to me as well. Did Kairos hear my plea for mercy? Did this heap of scrap metal protect me, imprison me, punish me? He rubs the back of his helmet with his gauntleted hand a pantomime of a gesture his armour prohibits. I don't have enough fingers or toes to count the possible reasons, so I try not to dwell on them. You're generally stuck in there, haven't tried taking it off? I made attempts in the past, even had one of the breast ha beast haulers pull off the hel helmet while another pulled on my bo boots. The men in phalanx have taken great pleasure in trying to find ways to liberate me. In time, I grew weary of the struggle. Sometimes I fear the removing of the armor would be the que question would be que to question Karis's judgment and risk more odious curse. Do you handle your own repairs? I try to keep a sur the surface oiled to slow the spread in rust, but I bend the plates from time to time. But repairs, maintenance, no. If you have any ideas of how to better maintain this situation, I'm open to discuss it. Alright, farewell. Well, that's enough questions for you. Thus. At your service, Fatebinder. I've got loyalty free with that, nice. What do you need? Anything else we can talk about? What do you think of the those of the five cars of authority? Alright, we'll talk later. Right, enough talking. Let's get in there and talk to the fifth eye. This camp is a just ridiculous. The guard places a hand on her belt as you approach, gripping the hilt of her blade. Past the point is Chorus's territory, and you don't look like someone conscripted. You're sure you're in the right place? I am just inside the fate binder of Tion. I am here to help vanquish the Oathbreakers. I am always in the right place. You gain favour with the Scarlet. The guard tenses up, locking eyes with you. That's walk that walking hunk of rust. What's he? She? She? Maybe it is doing here. He's an allied war warrior and, and my guard. You don't want to make this an issue. Step close and push her down. Oh, I gained favour with Scarlet Chorus and I gained a few more points of athletics. Before she can draw a blade, you advance, place your f foot behind hers and give her a stiff shove on the shoulder. Caught off balance, she tumbles backwards and triggers an outburst of laughter f in the other guard. I can't believe you sassed the fate binder. You're such a stupid ponce. Didn't I tell you we had a special guest coming? The guard waves you in a smile. Come on in. I don't let the ninny shitters in the camp give you any guff. Oh Jesus Christ, this this is like a raider camp in Fallout. <laughs> so is this fifth eye? No, that's just a guard prisoner. Oh so there are some uh, disfavoured here. Oh god, why am I feeling a sudden shiver? Right, let's have a little word with you. Fear I must authorise all prisoner visits. Alright, so we can't talk to the prisoners. What do we have here? Oh, hang on. Ooh. Is that... Oh, hang on. Nope. Ah, so we're getting some rot spear. Enraged affliction for 120 seconds plus four might for 100. Good thing I keep a torsion wrench handy. And I got a mirrored stompers. So, I don't know, ceremony. Oh, yeah, mirrored stompers. So that gave me plus one armor, but minus my deflection and disengagement defense. Let's have a little look at that, shall we? 
So, armor. Thank you. Anything else? No, okay. Where the hell did that go? Wait. Where is that? Alright, so. Amy plus. They give me 4% deflection or more covering, disengagement, defense. Spell reflection. No, that would be good. Help reflecting magic from me. Give him a go. Right, where's fifth eye? Right, so. There's rig. Well, look who we have here, chewing on some manner of cud. A heavy set soldier flings spittle and crumbs as she see as she talks. The fate binder finally shows himself. I'm Reg. The second soldier chimes in, and this is Baz. We were wondering when you might pay the camp a visit. The fifth eye has been a little starved for for attention. He ordered us to to watch you like a troublesome babe. Make make sure you don't get out of the line. Baz knits her fingers together and joints crackle as she smiles. Reg clears his throat loudly, scowling at Baz. Something like that. If you have any questions, ask us. Good luck finding anyone else in camp who will like to give you answers, or even a smile. So, what? anything we can do for you? Tell me about yourself, Baz. Tell me about yourself, Reg. Tell me about your time in the chorus. What can you tell me about the fifth eye? What do you know about Vidarian as well? The walls might seem imposing, but the Vidarian guard do a better job of hiding its weaknesses than fixing them. She shrugs. We look. We took the citadel once before. We can take it again. We have to do. We have to, don't we? Reg looks up at the imposing tower of the spire. Doe Kyrus knows I don't want to stay any longer than necessary. She follows his gaze and shakes her head. You should no know better than to parade your cowardice before the fate binder. Are you afraid of the spire? Sorry, Fate Binder, I shouldn't have mentioned anything. He sighs. The fact of the matter is, we were told to stay away from spires and old walls ever since we were babes. With all the dumb childhood lessons that fell by the wayside, that one stayed the same. Imagine a soldier of the chorus pissing himself over architecture. More like what's underneath it, Reg frowns. The bane lurk around those old sites and kill anything they can catch unawares. I have no wish to meet the Bane in combat unless there are a hundred blood chanters at my back. She twists her lip in a frown and considers this. Me neither, I suppose. Alright, farewell. I don't really have any more questions for you, especially you, Baz, you asshole. Alright. Oh, so it's a threadbare tent. Can I? Is, that, is this where I'm meant to go? Oh no, over here. There he is, there's Fifth Eye. Fate binder of Tion arrives, squealing with teenagers Tiber. The fifth fire's voice makes your gums itch and your fingernails feel like they need to be trimmed. And we just finished having a bit of a sport with some of our captives. But why not? We'll have more fun with another batch momentarily. Dressing in dressed in bronze red regala of the Crimson Spears, the fifth eye beckons you to stand close, wag wagging a blooded spattered glove. Now that you have issued the edict and doomed us all to die, have you come to help us climb out of this hole? Chirps of laughter and emanate from under the mask. I trust you are getting your warriors ready for battle. Not here to follow your every order, but we all need to work together to stop this edict. How, how has this camp responded to the edict? But of course, you are Tion's concubine, not mine. I envy your long leash and hope that you will grace us with the, your prowess, if only to set an example for this rabble. We know the Oathbreakers are focused in the citadel beneath the mountain spire, but you have learned this is not the only nest. The fifth eye wags a hand in the air with a high-pitched squeal of displeasure. Given their pattern of attacks, they must have a second group maintaining camp here in the outer valley, and unless we deal with this second group, they'll attack us from behind the moment we cross the river. Remain silent. You have n have how you have how large a force, and for all these weeks you let the enemy go move freely through the valley. This favour think you can't control your horde, and that may that 
and that many deflecting, deflecting back to the Vedarian guard. Wrong, and perhaps, he gestures with his spear in an arc towards this fallen camp, it is, a, is no mean feat to her this many desperate lives, for every two hands of humanity there is at least one finger that snaps from the stress of our ways. A few have lost their mark on the margins, I won't deny that. But if you store grain, expect expect some rat feces. If you lead killers, expect some desertion. So you need to help taking out the, these oath breakers. A while, a, and while a good old-fashioned slaughter would be an efficient solution, the smarter answer is not to kill them, but to aid the, add their strength to ours. My last group of scouts returned with a new batch of prisoners, and one of these prisoners claims she has a lead to the Vida uh, will lead us to the Vidarian Guard's secondary camp. Though there are shreds of deception in her voice, I would use your help questioning the Vidarian Kale. Perhaps you will get less screams and tears, more useful information out of her. If we knew where the ambush and oathbreakers, we could try and take their captain and show him the wisdom of joining the chorus. Why not? Just asked the Archon secrets. I thought he could interrogate anything. An unusual mutter escapes from under the fifth eye's mask, and his posture stiffens. I don't do not tell the voice of Narat what to do, nor do I question his motives. The Archon is busy plotting the efficient destruction of these oath breakers, and is not to be disturbed. I've known the Archon to demand personal interrogations. There's only ever been with the leaders, mages, or other of ex or others of extra merit. I've often imagined the interrogation process not to be taken lightly. Perhaps it's downright exhausting for an erat. I don't belong to the Archon. What, what's my ha help worth? You wound me, fate binder, if I place a hand over his chest, feigning the s start of a swoon. And I thought the joy of working for the illustrious Archon of Secrets would be reward enough. But you need to be missing half your head to expect an expert works for free. Tell me, what will make th this worth your while? A faithful service is reward enough, so long as my efforts are recognised. An honest wage would suffice. My price is knowledge. The Archon Shrekman knows a great deal of magic, does he not? Oh. So. Mm. Yes, I think I would be that devious. Are you sure I can't interest you in with the pleasure of slaves instead? The fifth eye taps his m finger to his mask's chin, a high-pitched groan of contemplation emanating from under the mask. I agree with your conditions. I will share w with you some blood chanter lore, but I will need time to prepare parchment, and such things will have to wait until the oathbreakers are silenced and we are no longer forced to act by this edict. I will speak to the prisoner. Are a few more conscripts going to change anything at this point? It seems wiser just to kill them, perhaps. I will meet you there. She's waiting by the other prisoners. So let's go and talk to this prisoner then, shall we? I'm assuming it's one of this lot over here. Soon find out because he's going to slowly make his neandering way over. Maybe not. Quiet man, let the fate binder speak with the catch of the day. Please, someone. I wish to bow, bow before the voice of Narat. I thought all could find re 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 redemption in the chorus. A woman in a makeshift armour of a daring guard lurches forward in agony. Her soiled, trembling legs suggest she has been forced to stand for days. This one has, f he flippantly waves at the prisoner, was hollering earlier that she knows the location of the Valerian guard encampment, but she isn't being entirely honest. I told this thing. The prisoner turns a pale moment before a look of determination comes over her face. That I wished to get, uh, that I wanted to guarantee I'd live and be welcomed into the chorus as a, as a captain. Then I'll talk. Otherwise, they'll just kill me once I've opened my mouth. I've opened up. I was dumb enough to join with the Vidarian Guard, but I'm not dumb enough to give away my bargaining bronze. Tell me what you know, and I can see to your release. You claim you won't disavow your people for this. You would disavow your people for this guard. Why change of why the change of heart? Because I want to live, and you don't need to be the archon of premonitions to know the younger realms are gone for good. She blinks several times, catching her breath. Karis is the new strength for the tears. 
and I would rather stand it, his archons than be crushed by them. Why should I trust the words of an oathbreaker? I suppose I have no answer for that. Vidaria's eyes fall to the ground as she swallows nervously. When I joined the Vidarian Guard, I accepted their broken vow unto myself. How have you not felt the passion for a foolish cause, one you later come to regret? When my surrender is sincere, and I am willing to bow before the voice of Marat to prove it. Tell me what I, you know, and I can see to your release. I heard the chorus is looking for a Captain Pelox fellow and his crew. I can lead you to them, but only if you release me. She turns her head, taking a long look at the skewered, smoldering corpse around her. She tugs at her restraints, but to no avail. Raise your voice. Start talking now. So that I, I can use athletics for that. Subterfuge, you're lying. Why don't you tell me what you actually know, and I'll, and I'll see about saving you. You could have the voice of right. Extract what you know from your mind. I'll try subterfuge first. Or gain some points in that. Well, I... You see, shaken by your demand, her lips move wordlessly for several seconds. So I don't know exactly where the rest of the crew is, but I saw, I mean, I can tell you, she shakes her head, catching her breath. Search that, search that one. She reaches up her right leg and points her foot, calling attention to a nearby pile of corpses. The tall, dark one, missing most of his face. Check his left boot. He was the literate one of our crew. He had the orders. With a snap of his fingers, a pair of choirmen yank the boot off the fallen guardsman. A rolled in parchment slides out from the boot and, fr and is thrust in the fifth eye's hands. He unfurls the scroll and gives a read. It's nonsense, just a mash of words. Laughter erupts from the, under the mask. She said she had information. She gives us garbage. Slay this wretch for wasting our time. He snaps his fingers at a nearby scarlet who promptly snatches a long knife from her belt. Uh, I heard her say she'd swear fealty to the voice of the rat, and the initiation rite would be in order. Also again, well for the Scarlet Chorus. Seeing as you're an expert on the subject of fate, I will entertain your wisdom on the matter. What then, what then would you propose we do to her? Point to the two other prisoners. T let's test her loyalty, Varia. Kill these guardsmen with nothing, something blunt. Send her back to our send her back as our agent. When the time comes, she will aid us, or we will track down her kin. You're wasting, you're wasting a good slave. Work her until she's broken and feed her to the pigs. I, w I don't... This is the thing. I don't think I'd be stupid enough to trust her just to go back to her people and expect her to do as she's told. I think te I would test her loyalty. You get to play with Scarlet for us. Vera looks at the prisoners once her allies and closes her eyes as her bonds are untied. The onlookers snicker and cheer when a heavy rock is placed in her hand. Having something inaudible, she lifts the rock high above her head and smashes it down on the prisoner's skull, wincing back a scream as she hoists the stone over the he her head a second time to finish the job on the other prisoner. The bloody rock hits the ground and Vera slumps to her knees in defeat a moment later. So she's proven that she's going to do as she's told. Good, good. Fifth Eye places his bloody hand on the trembling woman's shoulder and nods to her. Welcome to the Scala Chorus. Do not fail us. A pair of soldiers come to lift her area. The Fifth Eye turns to you, his voice filled with glee. Where's the slave to clean up the offal when you need it? We are no closer to finding the Oathbreaker's position, not with this cryptic miss. She promised us answers, and all she gave us was gibberish. Uh, sorry to interrupt, uh, but I highly doubt it's gibberish. Uh, more likely, it's one of the local scripts. Mm, so someone has decided to get a bit... open his mouth. Right, I'm just going to go to Lou. I'll be back in a second.
and I'm back. There we go. Sorry about that. Need to go and have a little tinkle, as we British say. Right. So let's get back in there we go. And I've gone and done the wrong thing. I literally just switched it as if I was going on my Xbox. For God's sake, I'm on my PC, you stupid boy. man then so he says that it's not gibberish eh? the voice comes from another prisoner tied up next to Varia the old uh, gentleman with the quills ink vials and parchment scrolls once finds one finds on the sages of the school of ink and quill well, aptly, aptly so considering he has ink and quill <laughs> ink smudges cover his cheeks temples and ears he cl his clothes appear charred between the ribs of the fab Brick, you spot burn, spot burn scars along his arms. Despite being enig enigmatic and uh, tied to the post, he offers a beaming smile. Show him the parchment. Can you read this? Read the parchment for yourself. Who are you? I I'm Sage Lantry, one of the hired quills that was coordinating missives between the Vendry and guard captains. They aren't paying me anymore and aren't coming to my rescue. So I'll decipher that parchment for you. That's what smart prisoners do, right? Uh, make themselves useful. Fair enough. Uh, well, uh, let me see. Uh, I, I I can't. Uh, uh, oh, mm, mm hmm. Uh huh. You hold the parchment in front of the bound sage, and his eyes dart down the length of the missive. He reads the words a second time, nodding in silence. Uh, so, uh, I don't know exactly what it says, but. I'm half certain that's Sage Selwyn's handwriting. I'm sure I could decipher that in a few hours' time. Uh, don't need my hands free, but uh, I think better when not tied to a post. <laughs> I know, I, I'm weird that way. I kind of like this guy. A few hours, either you can read it or you cannot. What use is a sage that doesn't know his letters? I've heard all I need to hear. I say we have some fun with this one. Can't uh, give him a few hours. You'll have the pens on you. You translate in the scroll now. Uh, I would love to help. I, I just need some time. Uh, that's written in another sage's shorthand. I'd have to sit down with it, or uh, better yet, uh, compare it to a piece of his writing I have stashed on me somewhere. Uh, if I sat down with it while sufficiently sober, it's highly probable I'd figure it out. So you're drunk. Sober? You? Since when do we share the good stuff with the prisoners? We don't. He stole it, probably. No, nobody shared. Uh, right before I was taken prisoner, I imbibed several vials of reagents. I wanted to be numb and disconnected when my captors used me for carnal catharsis. It's made these last few days tied to a post uh, almost enjoyable. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right, let's give him a few hours. You read this eat. You read the edict. I don't need to tell you the, the sundial is working against us. This addled old bag is just trying to stall us. Untie him and give him a chance to translate. The voice in the right will be upset to know you squandered a source of enemy intelligence. He's trying to help, isn't that worth saying? Are you giving me orders, Binder? Does that look like Tion's court? Last I checked, only the Arc of Secrets can tell me what to do with a prisoner. The Crimson Spear pounds his staff to the ground. If this old man wants freedom, we shall give him his fair shot at a trial. Fate Binder, I beseech you, be my advocate for this trial. I'm no fool, I know the Chorus uses blood, not words, to settle these matters. But you are a servant of the Archon of Justice, are you not? Fine, but I'll be his champion. This one needs to live. Release this prisoner at once. I'm taking him into my custody. We need the prisoner alive. This is a terrible idea. He's obviously he has useful information, yet you're willing to let him die for sport? As a fate binder, it is not my place to tell the course how to conduct trials on their own land. Clearly you need an education in Scarlet Chorus justice. Anything that satisfies their sick amusement is fair play. If the conquest is any judge, there are no limits to their depravity. Okay, that's a good 
Did Graven Ash castrate you during recruitment, or do you just not know the meaning of the word fun? I'm actually curious. Mm. With a shake of his head, the Piffi gives you a shrug. It is not obvious if it is it is it not obvious? If he is a true enemy of the Emerald, he will perish by our blades. If he w can survive, then he is strong, and the strong will lead. Thus, his crime will be n not be crimes, but simply the action of the mighty. What's not to be understand is th in this alchemy. Fine, but I'm his champion. This one needs to live. Good. I like it when Tunan's puppies get their paws dirty. I wouldn't mind taking a swing at some loudmouth chorus braggarts myself. Did you hear that, brothers and sisters, raising his arm to the sky? The fifth eye roars for all nearby here. Trial by combat is upon us. The sage is unbound from the post, stiff legs, and he buckles as he attempts to walk, and his arms flex and flail as their new f at their new freedom. Wiping sweat and grime from his brow, the sage steps back to you with a nervous smile. Rhythmic roaring and stomping of hundreds of feet in unison flood the camp. Hordesmen begin to circle the swir and swirl about, brandishing weapons and cheering. If they got this worked up to fight the enemy, I'd venture the war would be over by now. Begin the chant of gathering. Let the warriors know that tonight's entertainment will soon commence. Alright. So here we go. Brothers and sisters, who amongst you sets the stand for strength? Who amongst you will help un help winnow the weak from the strong? The fifth eye waves his hands in the air and drawing the Gavin Chorus soldiers. Oh, so there we go, we've got four against four. Okay, I can do this. Our, our claimants have been assembled. Now let the trial of the Oathbreaker begin. I'm not here to make Right, so. Where am I? So we are fighting. She's giving me Jay Smash. Death from above. Launch verse in the air now. And told him about Right. I'm going to do a flurry of blows on you. Where is verse? Verse is going to be that there. that one and give it a good old striking of iron and you who our new friend Lantry who is a mage can fight for a quill at people do renewal and heal and other spells to restore and touch he's our buff okay want you to attack with a quill on that same one let's have <laughs> Let's pause that again. Oh, no. Why am I moving? Why am I moving? I didn't ask you to move, did I? Right, there we go. Actually, recovering her. Focus down there. It'd be nice for you two to actually work together. On my command. I'm probably worked on me, not on the one I wanted it to, damn it. Right. Thrust. Uh. Back here. I feel. 
Got dark all of a sudden. My party band will be dead if I. By the righteous shedding of blood, we have found our. I won't get what that one is. Uh. We have found our answer. Regrettably, it appears the sage is worthy of leaving our camp alive. The fifth eye offers a short, mocking bow to an entry. By the custom set forth by the voices of Narat, you are free to go, old man. Brag to your grandkids that you fell afoul of the chorus, yet live to tell the story. So if I had a pit fire with it, I could say that to the old man, are you hurt? Not in my last incapacity, I'm uh, jostled, but fine. Now I believe I have parchment to translate, lest I anger the powers that be. Well, much of the parchment was weathered, but I could make out the important parts of the text. The note makes mention of a meeting spot west of tri Tribe in it all. So the old sage knows his words after all. I'd ask that you travel ahead to see if you can't get this Captain Florin to yield to the chorus. They will strike at first sight of the chorus gang, but perhaps they will parley in, if yours is the face they see. I know the area. I suggest we go at once. I'll show you the way. I'm eager to be far from the stench of this camp. You often come with us. Why? Because the alternative is what? Living here with these illiterate brutes? My old study is under a river of fire, that, that there's no, and there's no family missing me. Bloody look at now, why my sneezes are so much? Besides, I'd much rather chronicle the binder that twice proclaimed an edict of Kairos. I'd be a fool to let someone else write the, your story. Something is amiss. There is a lot of fighting you for an old scholar. Now you're offering to join this expedition? Hmm. I met sages every bit of a, as cutthroat as a hardened gang bosses. They act the part of doddering spies, but don't let that fool you. Smart for someone your age to be so mistrusting, but I'm not with the oath breakers, if that's what you're fishing at. I worked for them under duress, but I have no love for them. I'm not about to pledge to the chorus, or and this favoured won't have me. Still, I consider myself a Kairos's fearing vassal of the Overlord's Empire, all the same. For as long as I've been a sage, I've been training to train to defend myself. We don't spend all our time binding books and sketching wildlife just for most of it. For centuries we've been in, quiet, in a quiet war with the school of tides and the school of wild wrath. You can't travel along as much as I do and not know the bronze dance. So you don't put a parchment weight during the fight, good to know. And your little quill dagger, just a decoration? Well, I mean, sages always need to have a quill cool handy, so it's just a sort of blends into the uh, this ensemble of a casual glance at a casual glance, and the customary term is bladed remix. But who keeps track? How about you tell me where it is? I don't need you tagging along. So I feel to me, and I'll let you leave this place with me. Is that your price? I will pay it. I, Sage Lintry of the School of Ink and Quill, do pledge my services to ski to the Skian the uh, and Skian to the Vague Fate Binder, and by extension to the Court of Tion. He dips in into the steep bow before rising with a solemn smile. I know I may seem old and frail, but I know how to step lightly and how not to get killed, really. I won't slow you down. Lead the way, and let me know if you w can be of service. Are we done here? Let's hightail to triple tri tribe there, yeah, tribe net, and your new pet doesn't behave himself along the way. I am not about to clip his ears. I'm not above clipping his ears. Well, let's see what loot these guys have. Another Scarlet Fury helmet. A potion of elemental barrier. That's cool. And a stagger and burnt. So let's take all, and I'm going to equip our friend. Here with the with the Scarlet Chorus helmet or the Scarlet Fury helmet, I should say, because I already got one on. There we go, and you 
You have a light lower helm, so there you go. That's a cool, I do like his quill, I will admit that, it's quite cool. It's a potion of protection. Right, let's see what we've got here. So, stone and burn, plus corroded and stolen after 10 seconds. So that's cool. Elemental barrier, I think he would have that. And anything else, white stone. Give that to him. Potion of visibility, give that to her. Right. Anything else? No. Good air and guard. No, okay, that's fine. Right, so I'm going to put that on your quick bar. And there we have it. Wolves well, are a bit more equipped now. Let us be on our way. So I don't have any points. Neither does Verse, neither does he, but he does. Now, so that is his magic, so I'll put that up first. We'll put others up later on. He's got not very good health, so we have to keep him very far at the back. He needs more attack spells, so what's that? Watch his judgment. Entry strikes his target, interrupting them and lower their non physical armor. If used from stealth, this attack will also paralyze the target. So, penetrating throw. Improves Lynch's throw weapon attack range and attacks are, adds armor penetration. His throw weapon attacks. Quill Flurry. Literally rapidly attacks his this target with a series of thrown spikes. While stealth, Lynch will receive a significant bonus to the range damage. I think I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to do another one so we'll get this one as well. There we go. So there we go. Oh, hang on. There is something over there. A scroll here. Oh cool, so learned new spell call. Sigil of Illusion. So this is where I can craft my own spells, I'm assuming. I'll look I'll look at that at another time, but for now You got it. Let, oh hang on. There's another body there. Ooh, with a damaged leather shield, some blood moss, and a iron brand. Let's just get on it. All right, let's get moving, people. Let's see if we can find out where these damn. Fuck's sake, stop hitting the mic, then. These damn rebels are hiding. Hang on, what the hell's going on over here? Take another step and I'll pin your foot to the dirt. Oh, for God's sake, people. This is ridiculous. We have bigger problems there. It proves everything. The warrior slams her fists together in a resounding clap. Like, for instance, whether you're fit to lead that flock of children. Behind her, the members of her gang posture with weapons held at ready. Did you hear that the news of, of the edict? This is foolish distraction. We ought to be ought to be saving our fighting for the enemy. The chorus warrior looks at two of his gang, giving them a quick nod. What's the problem here? Say nothing. And with the next battle being so important, all the small reason your warriors should follow me when the time comes. She lifts her lifts a lock of hair away from her face and with a bronze dagger smiling wickedly at the blade hovers close to her eye. Then it seems we have no other weight about it. With a nod to his gang, he readies his weapon. Remain silent and let them fight. Come, come. Who of you will foot first to meet my blade? The gang leader tosses her knife from one hand to the next. <laughs> Those people. What are you looking at? Oh, bitchy! Jesus Christ! Calm down, love. I might end up losing your head if we keep talking like that. I want to keep the hammer, so I've got an iron sword now. From the looks of it. Ah, wow, rusted iron sword. So it's not our oh, shit. So it's not any good. Ah, well. Still worth saying, selling wise. Let's go off and help out. So we can head to Tribe Nettle and help out the the, the Scarlet Chorus, or we can head to Echo Call and Crossing. Hello, Insane. Welcome to the stream. Doing some more tyranny, as you can see. 
So where do you want to go? Echo Cook. So we can either help the disfavoured and start the attack on uh, Vendrian's well, or we can attack, go to Tribe Metal and maybe help the Scarlet Chorus get more forces and stop another force from maybe attacking us from behind when we go to the main fight. I was thinking going there. I think we're going to do that then. Onwards. Oh dear, it's become night time. Not good. No, I just hadn't realised because Blue Jacket and Emma have gone to bed and I didn't realise that someone else had come on because this is the problem with me. I'm so expecting people just not to watch because uh, I don't have any confidence in myself but didn't mean to ignore you there and saying but thank you very much for turning up. Oh, oh dear, so... Who, ah, so Fakelin reinforcements, finally. Come this way, we need to... The chorus warrior pumps his tattooed arm in salute. Midway through the gesture, a look of confusion dawns across his painted face. Sister Verse, what did I do to deserve such helping hand? A chuckle escapes the, main, the man before he, he shudders, placing a hand over his mouth. At once alert of the need to remain quiet, his voice drops to a harsh whisper. The fifth eye has set a sense of humour sending you. Verse returns the cold glare, but says nothing. I'm here to round up with the daring guard. Oh yeah, come to steal my quarry. He lets out a muffled chuckle through the half set of teeth. Who am I fooling? We met our match two days ago and aren't in any shape to tussle again. Much as I'd love to bra the bragging rights of claiming some scalps, my gang needs to rest before we pick another fight. Their camp is just yonder. He points to the northeast, and we've kept an eye on them for the last couple of days. Some of them left a few hours ago looking for food, maybe out on patrol, but they haven't returned yet. Might be wise to strike now while they're divided. Leave the oath breakers to me. How do you find this place? Happy accidents of sorts, he points east towards the mountains. We were in the mountains with orders to keep the oath breakers in and help keep any would be allies out of the valley. Strangest thing happens, tremors hits the pass and the tremors last a bit, so I figured they were magical and there weren't no sign of earth shakers or anybody. That was Kairos' magic sealing the valley. Oh yeah, that's exp that will explain it. We fought for a second, Karen survived the depth survived death and was back for vengeance figuring we didn't figured we, figuring we didn't need to watch our, the past no longer we headed down the slope back to the camp he points his eye to the north new fish in the game's got good eyes as she spotted the campfires from up on high we got curious swung this way and that's pretty much how we got here leave the earth what's your plan now I lost two of my gang in the mountains and we've been on half rations for days so until we get a much larger contingent we're not likely to win any fight we start. Now that you're here, I figured my gang will hold back and keep an eye out for trouble, maybe swoop in if things get messy. I can handle this, no need to push your warriors past their limits. Too cowardly to fight, I, fight? I see how it is. Glare silent next. My gang and I will alert nearby when you make your move. We'll descend and help with the captured forlorn. Don't worry, I'll, I'll let the others know you did the heavy lifting. I'll cheat at battle, but not with my reputation. Fair enough. Yeah, I've been at work today, uh, insane. It was a lot better than last week, I will say that. But that was due mainly to a car crash. Not many people get to the store with the fact there was a car crash. Alright, so he's going to not steal the glory from us, which is kind of what I wanted. I don't want the glory stole from me. Ooh, some light leather boots and a potion of revival. Nice. That'll be helpful. Right. So that is where we need to go, I'm assuming. Now how do I go into stealth mode, I'm assuming? Slow and steady. There we go. So everyone's in stealth now. Hang on. Who are you? Sun Soldier. I don't recall you. And that Pelux Valorian, he is the one we're trying to get. Right, let's right, stop for a moment. At once. On it. Right. 
this. I want you to go Just further. point me in the right direction. We'll stay here just and keep an eye on them. <coughs> Hopefully you can hear me coming through loud and clear, by the way, insane. If not, do let me know. So there's nothing further up. The only way through is this way. Right. Okay, all of you. Will do. This way to where the Scarlet Chorus men were. And we'll go around that way, see if there's another way in. Because I don't think we can make it through here. Hello, Blue Jacket. Welcome back. That's cool, mate. Good. Glad you can hear me, mate. Anyway, how's uh, the missus and the little babby? Or a little uh, three-year-old. I hope I've got that age right. That wee little baba. So there's some right supplies. I like the fact that there are four of them. So there's eight of us in total. We could probably do this together. And he's just like, nah, I'm going to stick at the back. Uh, have a look here. Ooh. That means there might be a rare item there. Ooh, what's that? Staff of Storm's Heart. I'll take that, thank you. Could be good, so you sell, right. So this is our way. Excuse me. Oh, good. So how's work been? I'm assuming that, that you've been busy. Right. So we should be able to take these people by surprise. Right. I'm on one side. Right. See Will how do. I can get. Ooh. 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 So. Come on. There's got to be a way. Right. Let's see if we can work some magic. So. Does he need to be up close to do that? As you command. At once. Didn't mean to do that, but fine. God damn it. Right. Move there. One second. Is it still hot up there in Scotland? Oh yeah, I can imagine. Jesus, I've done some work in my dad's attic, in the attic with my dad before, and it's been a nightmare. Right. So he has to be up close. Okay, right. Yes, I know. Shit, stop moving. God damn it. Literally, stop it. Right. You take centre, in case this comes to a fight, and we'll go on either side. Then tree. You're going to do... Bit of a flurry of once. firing attack on him. It's a battle! There we go. Kill the intruder! Yes, kill us, do it. I dare you. Right, Lintry, I want you to pull back. Barrick, move forward and attack that one. I'm gonna go off onto the right here. First, you go off to the left. And go. <laughs> Pause. Come out of that mode. Attack. You attack with skill on that one. I'm going to come out and help out attacking this one. And Count on it. <laughs> right, so you use your quill and attacker. Let's give them something to remember. Oh, oh shit. So. Let's do this. Throw her up in the air. That was good. Yeah, I got rid of him a little bit, 
in it. I can't type that fast on this device, so if you ask me a question, it might take a while to reply. Alright, that's fair enough, Blue Jacket. Some rain today, so ho hopefully that stays for a while. Yeah, I was very happy when ra the rains finally came. My God, I got it. It's cooled down uh, so much. Have a look here. Uh, a trap. Right, I'm gonna go forward alone. Moving cautiously. Let's see if we can break this trap a little bit. So you don't want to end up stepping on it. Right, the rest of the party, stealth for me. I'll be your shadow. Here. I'm gonna scout out a bit, so we're gonna go down this way and see if there's any down here. Now, combat in this is rather brutal as I found because I'm not doing as good as I could. Oh shit, we've only got seven days left, so I can't really mess about any that much. Right, first, you got it. You go forward up there. Right, so there's more of them up ahead. See there? More traps, great. Right, the rest of you. Move there. On it. Right, so. I'm trying to see if there's any more than just that one trap. No, right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Wintry. Consider it done. There. Just point me in the right direction. Barrack, you're gonna get ready up front. And I'm gonna hopefully disarm the trap. When they you're gonna then reveal yourself and then that way they'll charge at you. Hopefully. Right. Ooh, keeping the blue mic. Sorry about that. Alright. Let's try and disarm this trap before Your days damn ends here. God. <laughs> Pause. Jesus Christ. Right, Lintry, I need your healing assistance, sir. Oh no, it's quicker. Restoring touch, yeah, there we go. Touch me, Lintry, touch me. That sounds so wrong. Right, hit that prick. Give me good thrusting. I need you to get over there, though. No dice. That's good. <laughs> Right. Pull yourself together. Oh, everything hurts. Let's try actually pushing the buttons to actually. So you, uh, try pushing the button. Pausing every once in a while, Daniel, for crying out loud. Right, Barrack is poisoned. Great. Verse. I need you to hit that woman. Why Done. can't I hit anything? <gasps> oh, nice. Take that! Oh, shit. Not. Right. I hope. Hey, you won't enjoy this as much as I. This is just ridiculous to hold my ass. I do. character in Diablo 3 so I can see you rage when he dies <laughs> well I did do a charity stream this was like when I didn't even do streaming I was like streaming it via my iPod seller tape to my lamp but basically I was streaming for this charity called Gaming Heroes which was from 3 a.m. for me to 3 a.m. so it's 24 hour gaming I was I might do something like that for that because it, you know something fun and different 
I was even going to try and get that. Well, I'd say that's worth a second glance. For um, Halo, which is basically. You. Oh, God, got dark all of a sudden. Where basically you need to. One second, one thing. Where you basically need to complete the game within three hours. And I thought that might be something cool to On the lookout. Like stream or something like that. But I haven't had the time to do it as of yet, so for the meantime, I'm unable to do it. But I will be endeavouring to do it because I do want to. I've now reached the mouth of the camera, so let's have a little look, see what's in here. So there is the prick himself, standing oh so humbly. What have we here? Oi, dickhead. Join the cause or die. The overlord's peons have arrived. Blades up. Phalax is Phalax in hand and ready for battle. The Vidarian guard captain bellows orders to the warriors in his camp, dressed in tarnished bronze and sporting countless scars across his arms. Phalax forlorn in towers over his peers. If you value your life, drop everything and flee, or stand and fight. I'm happy with the option to a pit, that option too. It just seems sporting for me to suggest it. So in an hour I can protect your lives or be warriors. I only left my nicest blue fag back at the camp, but I would like to talk all the same. Surrender to you. What army? We have you outnumbered. You're the one we should be interested in, avo in avoiding a fight. Subterfuge. Oh, I'm gonna do that. I, this, is, I think, would be my character. Literally, he's a very good liar. If, you're sur if you surrender, they will take you to the voice of Marat. A poisoned blade would be tucked in your in your boot. What are you? Ver stops herself and raises an eyebrow after a quick read of your face. She shrugs and returns her attention to the soldier, this time wearing a de deadpan stare. Aren't you a traitorous little shit? That's his sentence trails off as he looks at the face of his men. That's an interesting trade. My crew lives and I get to shoot it. At a shot of killing the Archon. Fuck, I'd probably never get the, that close to him again on the battlefield. Venerian Guard Captain inhales deeply, taking a quick survey of his soldiers as he exhales slowly. I will do it. If you allow my soldiers to leave, I will concede and agree to be your prisoner. Surrender, and the rest of your crew may live. It's your lucky day. I'm in a merciful mood. I'll let all of you live. Go now before I reconsider. You hear that? Go on and tell the crew back home that I'll return soon. And if not, the captain turns his gaze towards you. Well, if that happens, I trust you will avenge me. But if the fate, this fate binder speaks the truth, speaks true, I'll be back soon. I'll be bringing back a souvenir, the severed head of the voices of Norat. Nothing personal, but I can't come back empty-handed. That said, I only need you. The rest are free to go. Say your farewells, you're coming with me. I'm feeling in a trouble me. Make a run for it before I change my mind. Each warrior in turn approaches for on, embraces and readies to depart with a silent nod. When the warriors have said their goodbyes, they hoist their rucksacks and depart. Oh, so we got what we needed. So, report back to Fakenham. I will once I've looted them this camp. Ooh, studded iron garrot and a pillar of courage. Let's have a little look and see what we can equip here. Excuse me. Ooh, can I equip it? Oh, it's an accessory. Okay, so it's something that I just put on. That's cool. Right, so. Um, you know what, I'm going to give that to our mage friend. Once I can figure out which one he is, that's not a mage. That is. Oh, I've already got it. <laughs> right. Right. There we go. How much damage does your quill do? Pretty much nothing, so I'm going to put that as your main weapon. So, what does 
that do anyway? Apparently. Oh, cool. There we go. And let's go. I got it. Hopefully, you're enjoying this, guys. So, here comes fake link. Striding into the camp at the tail head of a s tail end of a sprint, the Scarlet Chorus warrior begins to speak, but stumbles forward, bracing himself short of a of collapse as he catches his breath. More on the way, his words roll out between Navy breaths of patrol from this morning coming back. Well, look at that, he smiles, an exhausted grin through the heavy breathing. The captain and he's in one piece, just as requested, the voices would be pleased. The captain looks down at his feet, a slow smile creeps over his face. You haven't won just yet, second patrol should be returning right about now. If you can tackle the incoming patrol, my gang and I will make sure the Oathbreaker sees the voice of Mint. The warrior salutes you with a wink smile. Good hunting with you, Binder. The Arkham of Secrets will be most pleased. Great. Thanks a lot, you fucking assholes. Right. Eliminated the guard reinforcements, okay. Quiet down. Here they come. Right. Barrack, you go there. Go there. Right. right. The rest of us will come up behind them. Right, business. Right. Oh, hang on. Right. I've got an idea. He can paralyze him if he can get him from behind. Of course. So, sneak around behind. Reverse. And me and Barrick take the front. Affirmative. So, let's see if we can get this to work, shall we? Probably really wonky. Made my camera go wonky there, but. Let's see if I can actually get it to work. I've probably muffed up the camera now. <laughs> now you can hardly see a thing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you can still see me. That's all that matters. My lovely face. <laughs> right. You got it. Hey, On it, dickheads. We're here to kill you. Fools. Ah, shit, they reveal themselves as well. Right, that's fine. You take that one. Reverse. You go after that one. Get a good skewering. Barrack. Me and you will do our special move together. On this dickhead. Great <laughs> Get up, damn you! Oh, shit, I'm down. I can't pay attention to everything going on, for fuck's sake. Uh, right. Right. I shouldn't really pay attention to what I'm doing more. Right, there we go. There's a fire on that one. You, my good man. Why not? So, you can't do that. I can't take much more of this. This weapon is used. For sake, you lot are just a bunch of nonsense. Right, let's go. Come on, kill him. Or whatever it is. Pity you won't enjoy this as much as I do. Jesus 
just criminy. I am terrible at fighting, apparently. Let's get the heck out of here, shall we? Stop fiddling with the camera, Daniel. It was fine to fiddle with it, you stupid twat. Right. Let's head back to the. Let's head to Echo. Echo Court so we can get this quest started. That's better. Yeah, we. <laughs> there was one event that happened at work today. Will we do. Had a shoplifter. Now I. Right, do you hear that? The battle has already begun. Right. Camping supplies will heal wounds. Right, I'm going to camp. Camping will, will use one set of camp supplies. Do you want to camp here? Yes, rest. Because after that, I think we need to rest a bit. Right. So, before we carry on, we had a shoplifter just like five minutes before the end. And it was a young lad who comes in with his mum quite a lot. And you're just thinking. Why do it, mate? You're just not doing yourself any favours. But yeah, you got um, they were talking to and told don't do it again. Basically giving him the second chance to not do it again. Don't know why people do it, to be honest. Back over here, maintaining defence posture, winded, the disfavoured commander clutches his bloodstained chest piece as he takes a deep breath, gathering his thoughts. His focus is on the scattered, wounded men around him. He has yet to notice you. Your plan has been rousing, uh, arousing success. Most of our troops are dead, a bridge destroyed, and a Vidarian guard push us back to where we started. Ladies and gentlemen, the finest North ha the North has to offer. And for our next act, I needed those furies on point. Don't mock my strategy after working against it. We could have taken them. What happened? Shouldn't you be on the other side of the bridge? We tried to rush the Western Bridge, blow for blow, and we had them on run had them running, but his gaze drops a long sigh escapes, but halfway across halfway across the whole damn river just the blood chanter gesticulates, flailing for words, lurched up. The cursed mantine swallowed the bridge and most everyone on it. Only real soldiers we have left are the Scarlet Furies that I quite wisely directed into a flanking position. A few of us kept our footing, but the advantage was lost. We had to fall back. As we did, the elf breakers surged down the eastern bridge. We held ground until they fled back across the river, but now we're back where we started with only a fraction of the strength. And Tino was in command. You should have concentrated forces as he directed. Remember, the School of Tides is alive and working for Drangal. I assure you, she is the culprit. That would explain it. I saw a woman dressed in blue on the other side of the river. Didn't seem like she fit in with the others. Had we focused our strength into one perfect lunge, we could have crossed the bridge before the enemy knew what it was killing them. But it's too late. We were, you can use the Scarlet Furies to... No, fool. Stop suggesting ways to get my gang killed. Are you working for the Oathbreakers? We should wait until the enemy is no longer on high alert. And Tino is still in command, follow his orders. Well, we can sit here and wait for Karasi to kill us, to kill us, or do we can do something. If this were a hearing of grievances, I'd let you call the shots. But we are talking about the lives of my gang. Conscripts are a copper a dozen, but furies. I have worked hard to secure the loyalty of my gang. I will not secure the scrape. Fine warriors on the buffoonish plan. Perhaps if you help help covering the cost of enticing replacement warriors to your gang, how about you just tell me what you'd like in exchange for your corporation? What was that? Oh, I could strike him. Subterfuge. I suppose I will tell the voice of the rat that his agents were soft and cowardly in the face of opposition. I think I'd goad him. Huh? Do you think your words will change? will change. The Chanter smiles wide. I meant to say, perhaps the Fate Binder is right, and Tino is in charge. When you meet next with the Archons, you will tell the voices I was instrumental in the success of the crossing. 
Just like that, the disfavoured warrior crumples his face into his palm. No, wait, I won't question it. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yes, you had best be thanking me and the fate binder. We save this favour time and time again. What's more, once more? Listen up, for this is to work. The f my furies need a moment to get out of cover. Fate binder, you need to run to the eastern bridge. Don't get yourself killed. Just draw their attention. I'll signal my furies to send a rope across while you have them occupied. There's no time to waste. Let's hope your gang delivers. Antino turns to you, nodding with a frown, a heavy frown. Thank you, fate binder, and good hunting. So, here we are in the battle. Hopefully, we're going to win it. But, unfortunately, that is where I'm going to have to call it for tonight, guys. I've got been streaming for two hours, and it is three in the morning, and I do need to go to sleep. So, I'm going to save it quickly before I carry on with what I'm saying. So, yeah, unfortunately, that's where we're going to have to call it for today, guys. I'm really enjoying this so thank you very much for tuning in sorry that some of you might have just tuned in and it's now ending all of a sudden but we got to see you got to do some combat help out the scarlet furies and scarlet chorus and actually help are now about to do the battle so hopefully this edict won't kill us after all but time will tell so we'll sh so stay tuned for some more late night howling streams where i'll carry this on and I'll see and if you haven't already as of yet do follow above and if you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter and or on my YouTube channel to see more of my streams just click on the links down below and don't forget to follow like and subscribe and I hope you've enjoyed thank you very much insane thank you very much blue jacket and thank you very much to my lovely fiance for turning up and to anyone else who's not talking in the chat thank you very much for watching I hope to see you guys all soon and in the next one bye bye